G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel and another video on Shinpaku Junipers. Surprise, surprise. I think you're now starting to know this is one of my, probably my ultimate trees that I love to work with. Um, just because they're really easy to grow and easy to air layer and very easy to uh, maintain and make it look into great little trees. I have another here air layer that I've taken. This one was one of the ones that I twisted and bent and, and I just want to show you what it's looking like now. Um, so I've twisted this one, bent it really well on a, on a stock plant, and then I air laid it off. Now, I just want to come and, come and show you how it's progressed um, and what it looks like at the moment. This has got two, two quite interesting little trunks now. I'll try and bring into a camera without losing focus. So there's a little trunk in here that goes that way, and there's a nice little trunk in here that twists and turns and bends around. So I hope you guys can see that. Let me just check in the camera while I'm holding this. Yeah, you can see how cool that is. Now, I don't want to lose that interest, so I need to look like, I need to look at this top half now, it's going straight again. So I need to maybe get some more bends in it, or actually have a look at the tree in a bit more detail. So I might need another pot, this pot's kind of breaking. So I just want to take this out of its pot, just temporarily, just to see if I can scrape away some of the top soil. So no problems with roots. You can see that how healthy that is. Really vigorous and strong. I just want to clear some of the top half just to see what it looks like. Sorry, that blue stuff's just some um, slow release fertilizer that I've had on me. That I do happen to do. Um, yeah. Of course, no surprise what's happened is this one was in the ground. It's, it's actually ground layered. Uh, <laughs> oh well, there you go, no surprise there. So it's actually, I think I could feel some roots in there. So this part has actually ground layered. So that might not be too bad because this is the this is more of an interesting tree than this. This is quite straight. So uh, I might actually, you never know, I might just cut that off and grow that. I might cut off this section here and just grow that as another tree. It's it's air laid itself off. So ground laid, that's clear. So, it's, so the branch was buried, probably by accident by me. Um, and it's just grown roots from that spot. So, and it's a nice little twin, twin trunk there. So let's have a, I can have a quick look at that. I need, I need to get my other tools. Just give me a sec while I find it. Oh. Just want to scrape away some of this soil and see what's there. Yeah, they're quite, they're quite heavy. It's quite interesting. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So maybe I'll do a, do a maybe I can just tease these out, and um, I'll come back and show you where where it's at, and I'll show you what the result is. So I'm, I can still repot at this time of year, but I'm not really. I'm just trying to tease these roots out. I'm not going to really cut away anything, except if I want to remove that branch that branch there and have a single tree. So let me come back, and I'll, st and I'll show you what the result looks like. Oops. Anyway, so. I've um, cleaned it up. So what I found was, I only found one small root on that on that um, tree. Now I could let that develop. However, I don't want to cut that off and have that die on me. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the two tree option. I'm going to keep both. And in the future, if I don't like that, I could air layer it anyway. So I hope you guys can see that. I'm coming. It's just the one root there. Oh, that was my hand. Yeah, that's just one root. Not for that whole tree wouldn't survive. So I'm gonna take that one off and I'm gonna go back to having two two trees. Um, and then I'm gonna plant it in, in a, such a way that it won't actually root uh, again so I won't ground layer. So but what I'm gonna do today also, my plan was to actually twist these up again and create some more interest because this this tree has a really nice bend and twist into them. 
and um, I want to do the rest with that. The rest with I want to do some more bending into, into that. And I haven't really done the roots. I've just combed that soil out, and my soil just drops away. So just goes going to go straight back in a pot in a slightly larger one than before. Haven't touched the roots. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to put some heavy wire on it, my normal aluminium, and start to bend and twist it up. So. I'll do that and then I'll put the bends in it. I mean, I'll put the wire on it and I'll come back and show you how I bend it and what I mean by bending and twisting um, if you haven't seen that technique before. So, there you go. Still has a lot of interest in that two tree, in the two trunks. If I get more bends in it, it'll look really cool. So, that's the plan. All right, be back. All right, so what you can probably see is I've um, put it in this little bit larger pot. It's just a little bit moving around at the moment, but that's okay. Nothing too, nothing too major. I just want to make sure I hold the tree when I try and bend these. I've put some heavy gauge wire on these branches, and now it's a matter of I've only I've wired the main trunks together with one big wire, and there's a and there's a sub branches that I've wired with the same same wire as well. So two bits of wire went on, and four things were wired. So now it's a matter of having a look and tweaking things down, and getting so there's some nice bends. And twists around. I want to keep trying to follow that contour. So I'm going to start with this guy and get him in and bent maybe back to the back. Always listening when he creaks <laughs> and so on. So so it's not too bad. So it's made a nice big bend in it. And it's starting to go towards the back, which is what I wanted. And then up. So it's pretty much made a, a totally almost 180 degrees and back up. And so no breakage, no, no splitting, no nothing. This sub branch, I might go I'll leave it for a second while I do the big one over here. That's more important. Um, I want to also go follow the same way it was curving. It was curving this way and then coming back around. Just gonna wipe this guy, just gonna bend this guy out of the way a bit. Because it's impacting my my ability to twist it's better. So I'm always trying to squish, squat down the branch, press it down, and then around. Because I wanted to get it more compact. That's coming along quite easily, actually. It's really nice. So that from about here now is down in here. I'm just going to work on this guy a little bit more. Okay, so I've left the leader going. Now it's a matter of, don't worry about the inside stuff, that doesn't matter. And now I'm just gonna see what I can do. I'm just gonna put some, put some more bends into these, these little guys. And see, maybe they'll, they'll come up something like something in the future, or they could be just gins. Be creative guys, this is where you can be creative in terms of how you bend and twist things. It just adds interest to the tree. Some things you'll keep, some things you won't. Get air layer them off, no big deal. But you gotta put the bends in now. And you've seen some of the results in my other trees. So this now is really compact. and It's even smaller than it was before. Um, I'll just make sure I press in the soil. And that's pretty much it. That's it, that's done. That's the next level, that's the next stage. <clears throat> you probably see me do that quite a bit in my other videos, but <clears throat> I'm always doing this. Um, and now's a good time because spring's coming and everything's gonna shoot really well. So everything should grow really strongly and you should get some good bends and twists and results pretty quickly, six months or so. 
and this might be ready for another look and bend and twist it again into, into place so yeah there you go nice little short video but you saw the potential of this nice material if you put the work in early and air layer it off as I always keep trying to show you guys as well um, you get really good results really nice interesting trunks and bends and twists so there's another video guys hope you enjoyed that um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the little bell icon so you can get notifications of new videos see you next time